Hello, today I will show you how to use pop-up alerts in the alerts of software desk alerts. First thing you want to do is enter a title. Uh, without it, you cannot send any alerts. So I'm going to enter the name test alert, body of the text. Uh, you can use any of, of the predetermined message templates here. So if you want, you can use them. If not, uh, you can just uh, enter whatever you want to enter here. So the other thing is you can take make the text either bold or italic or underline uh, strike through. So you can also add code if you want to. Uh, you can you can also uh, insert images here uh, if you want. You can ha add links. You can change the font size. Uh, you can change the font family alignment, of course, and of course you can change uh, the direction. So. These are some basic things uh, you can do. However, please note that sending video alerts is not possible using the pop-up alert. So you want to use video alerts here. So as you can see, there's also different skins that you can have for your alert. Uh, you can change that uh, with anything you want, uh, just as long as you have the skin service uh, bot uh, you can cut we can customize it on our side so we can change the logo here or we can uh, completely uh, remodel the alert to your liking so that's the uh, basic things here so there's also some settings you can um, change around so there's high priority alert. Uh, it means it will be delivered no matter what. Acknowledgement means that the recipient needs to acknowledge that he or she got the alert and understood its contents. So unobtrusive means that it will not pop up right away, but it will be stored in history. So you can go back and look at the history. So we don't have anything yet. Self-destructing means that after you close it, it will go away forever. Uh, you can also make it so that the alert will auto-close in whatever specific time frame you want it. So the lifetime means how long this alert will be lingering before expiring. And there's also an option to print it, to add print, print button. So if you want to uh, give the users the choice to print uh, the contents of the alert, this is the button you want to use it. So you can also schedule the alert. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, so you can have it daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or just once. So there's also alert appearance, uh, which means uh, what is the position of the alert will be, what its uh, uh, size will be, so width, height, resizable, and full screen. Uh, there's also messaging channels, uh, which basically means you can send also an email alert alongside the regular alert or SMS alert. So to use SMS alert, you need to have a SMS gateway. You can also change the device type. Uh, you can send only to mobiles or only to desktop or all devices. So I think we're ready to send a very simple alert here. Just click Save and Next. Here, you can choose recipients or send to IP groups. Um, this is a demo, but there's also a broadcast option, which will send alerts to everyone who has a client. So we're not going to do that. 
we're just going to find my username here. And we're going to send the alert. And here it is. So it was just a test alert. Uh, you can change around uh, what you can send. So, but now you can see that uh, in history, uh, here it is. And you can go back to it and review it. So that's the basic functionality of pop-up alert.